Peace, keep no family, lashing to God. Yo, check it out. Today we're gonna do this video a little bit different. I wanna get right into this. Today's video is about a guy named Alex the Crowley, whose former name was Edward Alexander. Alexander Crowley was born on October 12th. 1875 and he passed away in 1947. Alexander Crowley was a well-known author and a cultist. Alex the Crowley was known to be the wickedest man alive. He is also known to be called the beast. This video today that I want to get into. Now this is George Bush Sr. He was a former president of the United States of America. And this here is his son, George Bush Jr. He was also the president of the United States of America. Now this video, in this video, I wanna show you how these two guys are the grandsons of the wickedest man in the world. Once again, the alleged name of the wickedest man in the world is Alex the Crowley. Now let's get into the video. One that sent a chill through Fleet Street. A cannibal at large. They printed uh, an account of um, that Crowley on a Himalayan expedition had killed and eaten two of his native porters. Alastair Crowley's reputation had been damaged beyond repair. On April the 23rd, 1923, the Commissario in Cefalu, following the instructions of Mussolini, handed Alastair Crowley an expulsion order. The Beast 666 and his Scarlet Woman departed Palermo on the 1st of May. The next few years of this man's astonishing life can best be described as his wilderness years, although he preferred the term living in exile. Now completely addicted to heroin, he wandered between North Africa, France, and London. And wherever he went, his evil reputation and his heinous tendency for experimenting in sex magic closely followed. He had become a universal figure of hate. As for the other Thelemites from the Abbey, their lives disintegrated. The Scarlet Woman, Leah Hersig, left her son behind at Cephalu in the care of Ninette, who had been accepted back by Crowley before his expulsion. Leah's sister, Alma, took the boy back to America. As for Leah, living on the streets of Paris, a hopeless addict, penniless, and selling her body for food, she eventually denounced Crowley. Leah returned to America and lived the rest of her life as a devout Roman Catholic. By 1924, Crowley was living in poverty in France. An old friend and famous literary figure and occultist, Frank Harris, kindly took him under his roof. Frank Harris lived with a woman by the name of Nellie O'Hara. If what has been written in later years can be believed, Nellie had a friend in America, Pauline Pierce, who was married to Marvin Pierce, head of the McCall Corporation. In early 1924, Pauline traveled to France to stay with her friend. Thus it was that four individuals came together, Frank Harris, Nellie O'Hara, Pauline Pierce, and Alistair Crowley. According to Crowley's diaries, during this period in Paris, Crowley underwent the supreme ordeal linked with his realization of the grade of Ipsissimus. According to a description of the rite, on the appointed day, the candidate is attended by one or more chosen and experienced attendants whose duty is A, to exhaust him sexually by every known means, B, to rouse him sexually by every known means. Every device and artifice of the courtesan is to be employed and every stimulant known to the physician. If Crowley did go through this ordeal in 1924, then it is highly likely, based on his previous experiences, that his closest associates of that time 
including Nellie and Pauline, performed as his magical assistants. Pauline Pierce returned to America in early October of 1924. Eight months later, on June the 8th, 1925, she gave birth to a girl named Barbara. Barbara Pierce married George H.W. Bush, who eventually became the 41st President of the United States. And they had a son, George W. Bush, the 43rd President of the United States. Could the wickedest man in the world, Alistair Crowley, be George W. Bush's grandfather? In 1925, Crowley received a letter from Theodor Roos of the OTO in Germany. A vacancy had become available for international head of the OTO. They had chosen Baphomet. To the oh, you can learn a lot. All you gotta do is listen. If you don't know me, my name is Lashing the God. I have a channel called Keep Low on YouTube. I do videos on street legends where I give you real street on street legends. I also drop knowledge that'll help you elevate your life. And I also drop knowledge for the God, the earth, and the babies. So tap in with the channel Keep Low. Keep Low, you never tell, they'll never know. Tap in.